I have a folder on my desktop titled Star Trails 2023. In that folder is where I'm going to keep everything for recording Star Trails this year. I also have a folder of images that I recorded last night. Um, they are from my GoPro camera out in the school garden. And you can actually see the landscape. Here's the garden shed and everything. Um, I like to date all my folders of images uh, so I know what I'm looking at, when it was taken. I typically label what camera I used, where I took it. And I also append this raw. This lets me know that this folder has pretty much raw images, things that are unedited from the camera. So with my folder of raw files, and it'll look kind of faint. You can see some of the stars. Even if you have stars that are in your uh, images that don't look like they're very pronounced, we'll be able to fix that in a program called Lightroom. And I want to show you how you take Lightroom. You can actually see the motion here. So those are my raw images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a program, Adobe Lightroom Classic. You can't use the other one called Lightroom. It has to be Classic. And what's going to happen is it's going to open. It's going to look for a catalog. And what I want to do is I actually want to choose a different catalog. I want to create a new catalog. And so I want to create a new catalog. And where I'm going to do that is in my Star Trails folder that I took, or uh, that I created. Um, and I'm going to keep everything in here. So I'm going to call this Star Trails 2023. And what this is, this is a place where I can insert all of the folders um, and do bulk edits on lots of images. So it opens up and it's going to ask you import some photos. So I'm going to pick a folder. I'm going to go to import. And where I'm going to go is actually you'll have to navigate to wherever your desktop folder is. So my desktop folder exists in a Another folder here. I don't want to open the entire desktop folder. Um, okay, I found my desktop folder. And it's this folder here that I called Star Trails 2023. So I'm going to have check all selected and I'm going to import. And what's going to happen is it'll take note of the location of all those raw files and it gives me a folder here my star trails 2023 and a subfolder the one that is the the set of raw files that i took so i can look at this folder specifically and later on when you add more images you can just add those folders to this list and what i can do is i can do all kinds of preview options but the other thing i can do is i can go to this tab called develop and i'm going to go on the first one and I'm going to change some of the settings. Let's make the contrast a little bigger. Let's bring up, uh, bring down some of the exposure possibly. What I might do is I might bring down the whites to get rid of some of the sky noise. I can also use some other options in Lightroom, make it a little clearer, make it a little softer. These sliders they do all kinds of things. I recommend just doing a Google search on what they can do. But the most important one I'm going to use is under the detail option. And that is going to do some manual noise reduction to smooth out some of the graininess that appears in the sky. And I'm going to bring the luminance and the color sliders to about the middle. And I'm going to pull back. And so these settings, this isn't actually editing the image itself. This is applying some possible edits. And I have to export all of these. So I can look at the next image and you can see that these are the original raw settings, and this is a set of edits that I would like to apply to all of these. So I'm going to press and hold shift. I'm going to go to the end of my images for this sample set, and then I'm going to press sync. And I just want to check all of it, and I'm going to press synchronize. And what it's going to do is it'll apply all of the edits to all of the images so that I can look at these images and every one has received those set of noise corrections and other adjustments. And then the last thing I have to do is I need to select 
all of these and then control click or you can go up to develop um, sorry um, under file and go to export and I'm going to export them to a specific folder so that specific folder I'm going to go back to my desktop and I'm going to go to that star trails 2023 and I'm actually just going to create a new folder in here and I'm going to call this I'm actually going to copy the name of this folder I'm going to give it to the name of this folder but instead of raw I'm going to call it dev for developed and so I've created that folder I'm going to select the folder and I you can adjust the rename settings most important is that when it renames things things go in order so right now my custom settings here I often say which date did I develop this on this happens to be 928 then I have a date here hour minute second for the actual image when it was taken and then the file name and so the file name the original one from the the image and then again this is all tedious bookkeeping to keep track of which image is which image and so I have that renamed I'm gonna press export and then what's gonna happen is it'll go through export new images with all of those settings applied so I'll go back to my main star trails folder and you can see I have a new folder here and there are images that are being spit out and these are the ones that I created in Lightroom. Again, this program Lightroom is all about doing massive uh, edits to large sets of photos. Um, so you don't have to do it to every photo individually. So now I end up with this folder that is GoPro Garden Develop, what I called it. And it has my images that look just look a little smoother. I can see a little more stars. I can actually see Cassiopeia here. I can see um, the little tail of the Big Dipper here. And so as I click through, I can see everything start to drift a little bit. There was a plane that went through. And this is something we can actually use uh, to maybe remove some of that air traffic or, again, filter out images that we want to drop from the final stack. All right, I'm back to my folder with now my raw images from my original GoPro uh, memory card. This folder that says dev that has my images with Lightroom edits applied and then exported. So it's a whole new folder of images. And then this new thing, another folder that's called Star Trails 2023 that is inside the folder called Star Trails 2023. And this is where the Lightroom catalog exists. And this is, I can reopen this catalog and add more folders to it and apply new edits to new images, go back and change old edits to old images and re-export those. So this is the, the Lightroom classic uh, benefit where you can apply edits to lots of images, go back and change them. The whole uh, beauty of non-destructive editing. I'm going to go back to my main star trails folder i'm going to go into the images that i developed and i'm going to open star stacks um, what i'm going to do first is i'm going to select all of my images that i had developed and i'm going to put them just drag and drop them into star stacks and i'm going to do a preliminary stack and so this is the process images button here We can see that the stars further away from the center are the ones that will start to curve. And we can see part of Cassiopeia here, Polaris is over here, the star that is moving the least. And there we go, 25 images that are processed. This is a, a gap filling overlay, more on that in a little bit. Um, now I have an output image and what I have to do is I have to save my output image. And I'm gonna go back to my star trails folder which is going to be in my desktop, Star Trails 2023. And I'm just going to save it right here. It gives all kinds of information to it, what image it started with, what image it finished with, the app used, all of that. And so I can save it, actually. It's going to, I think it's going to save it default as a JPEG, as the same type of image that you put into there. 
And so I can go back into my main Star Trails folder, and here is a single stacked image. Notice that I got some air traffic in there. Um, this little kink right here means there was a little bit of wind that moved the GoPro, probably on one of the earlier images. I'm going to close that preview. And I want to show you something else that we can do with a star stacks file list. So I have all my images here. I'm just going to clear this image list again. Go back. Another thing I'm going to do is, and this is what everybody needs to do, and that is take all the images. And what we'll do is we'll go over to these new preferences over here. We're going to save after each step. I want to do an image numbering. I don't want to reverse it. I can start at one instead of starting at zero. It makes it easy to keep track of the numbers. And it's just going to pop these new images into whatever folder. The default is uh, the folder that I pulled these out of, but you can browse and find a new folder. Um, but to show you what happens, I'm going to run another stacking. So it's going to look like everything is moving and stacking. Um, as that stacking, I'm going to go back to my develop image folder, and you can see that images are being now put into this. And that's from, after each step of stacking, it's going to save an output image. So we're getting each image from each step in the stacking, so we can create an animation. We can create the so-called trail animation. So that's done. And so now I'm going to go back to this folder here. So I can start at the, the first one of the stack. Notice, actually, I only have 49 images. I had 25 to start, but the very first one doesn't get stacked with itself. So it's not a doubling. It's a doubling minus one. So I open the first one, star stacks, and I'm going to click through these images. And you can see that these now are frames that could be used. You can put them in Photoshop to create a trail animation. So with your images, um, your full image set, you have your basic ones or your Lightroom edit ones to create a sky animation to show the whole sky drift by. You'll see some motion of the foreground and stuff if it's windy. And then you will also have a set of images that are for a trail animation. And so we can animate both by using these as the frames for an image sequence uh, frame animation in Photoshop. The last thing I want to show you is what I can do with the raw images if I have air traffic or my Lightroom processed images. I'm going to go through and I want to find where something streaked across the sky. So that's the number that ends the image file that ends in 542. And I'm going to advance through. It looks like it only took three of the images. Looks like that's my most significant air traffic uh, from this image set. So what I will do, I'm going to go back to star stacks, clear those images. I'm going to select my developed images, but then I'm going to go to the ones that end in 542, 543, and 544. I'm going to remove those from the selection. I'm going to drop them here. I'm going to go back to the preferences here, and I'm not going to save this after every step. I just want to create a single image out of this. And you can see that it's animating, and it's proceeding. And where I removed images, we're going to notice there will be a little gap. And that gap, that's the trade-off. If you start removing images that have, that have air traffic, you're going to lose where those stars were, too. So we can try to use the tools of gap filling here in star stacks. And it tries to minimize the gap, but it doesn't do the best, and it can change other stuff about the image. Um, oh, I just noticed here that the shed is kind of a little bit off-center, nice and illuminated by the moon that was uh, behind us when we were taking this image. Um, but anyways, yeah, the trade-offs. If you start to remove air traffic, you will get gaps. So you don't want to have too many gaps in your, your star trails. So to summarize, star stacks, you're going to spit out um, a final image, but you also want to use individual images spit out by star stacks so you can create your trail animation. So this set is the trail animation, 
And then this set is the sky animation. <laughs> 